We are taking the walking tour right here. Meets in the square. We are in downtown Rio de Janeiro. Look at these buildings. It looks very European here. This building is inspired by the Opera House in Paris, and this one right here is inspired by the Louvre because France was the center of the world at the time, so they wanted it to be inspired by the neoclassical. We are taking the free walking tour, we and free walking tour. we're in the center of the city. There's not many people here because it's mostly a commercial center, and we're here on the weekend, but they're giving a lot of good information about the history of Brazil, and one of the things that I learned is that uh, Brazil used to be the first European capital in Latin America. The Portuguese monarchy used to live here and they were exporting Brazil wood and gold until they could no longer export anymore. And then they raised the taxes so much so that there was a coup of the government and it became a republic. How's the tour so far? We like it, we like it. Shop talking the world. It's in Arnu voice style on Sundays it's closed, but it's open from Monday to Saturday. Everything's closed today because it's Sunday. Look at this architecture. Wow. It's very European. Oh, McDonald's is here and Burger King. Our guide was saying that people in Brazil, they dress very casual and for work, the ladies, they will wear flip-flops because of these roads and then they'll change into heels when they get to the office. the Imperial Palace. It's inspired by French architecture and this is where the Portuguese monarchy lived before moving into the museum that burned down last year. This building is meant to look like an oil platform because it's the headquarters of the oil company. This right here is the Lapa district where they have all the parties. This right here used to be the aqueduct but it's no longer. La primera favela Brasile. We're on the rooftop of a hostel called Salina in Lapa district. patio for street art here. This is where the famous staircase is. We are walking through the Lampa district here in Brazil and they have so many beautiful pieces of artwork. Look at this. This is the line for the famous staircase where they filmed the Snoop Dogg video and Michael Jackson. 
The Celeron Steps are world famous. They began in 1990 when Chilean-born artist Celeron began renovating dilapidated steps that ran along the front of his house. Today, there are over 2,000 tiles collected from over 60 countries around the world. We're walking up the stairs. Walking up the stairs, it's really crowded. Now we Uber 15 minutes to Parque Lage, a beautiful public park at the base of Corcovado. You can see the Christ the Redeemer right here. We're about to go to the botanical garden area. Entering the park is magical. It contains walking trails through a subtropical forest with views of the Christ the Redeemer from up above. We are in Parquino Laje, and this is a forest. Look at this, we're literally in a forest. And Rio de Janeiro has the largest reclaimed urban forest in the world. The first national park to be declared was Yellowstone. The second was the one where the Christ Redeemer statue is. That's so beautiful. Inside the pink building, we find the School of Visual Arts, Ischgola Giarges Visuais du Parque Lage, which contains a collection of Brazilian art. It's really beautiful. This is like a palace. This mansion is the former residence of Italian opera singer Gabriella Bessangioni. It contains an atrium with a cafe and stunning views of Corcovado. This is where they filmed the Snoop Dogg and Pharrell video. Beautiful, right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's something about you. And behind me, Christ the Redeemer. So tall. Now we end the day with a sunset view from the beach. We're walking onto Copacabana Beach. It is sunset, so beautiful. Welcome to Copacabana Beach. This is so beautiful. Look at all of these hotels back here. They have all kinds of shops right here. All kinds of sports. At the Hilton Hotel, you can sign up for volleyball and surfing. If you do one thing when you come to Rio, be sure to check out the beach. Okay, another fun fact is we are staying at the Hilton Copacabana, beautiful hotel right there. The team for the Chilean soccer is staying at our hotel, so there's tons of fans outside, tons of security. They're having the Copa games. These are all the fans for the Chilean games. Okay, 
Okay, the Chilean team is now leaving. That's their bus. And they are heading out. Their fans are going crazy. There's tons of fireworks. And they're getting a police escort out of the Hilton.